Before we get started with this video, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure you tap that bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for the support, and enjoy the video. What's up guys, 360 Beyblade here, and today we have a little bit of a Christmas haul video. We will be unboxing one of these items, but thought it would be kind of neat to show off everything that we've got kind of coming up. As you can see, two of the things that we got we actually already opened up. I couldn't help myself. I will go into the reviews for these two, and we will be moving into the he Helios unboxing first so that's actually what today's video is about and as you can see yep we've got a ace dragon super hyperion a duplicate of a chosy achilles we actually have a second one might keep that in the packaging and then to kind of round it all off we've got the beyblade burst turbo cross collision battle set this is a new stadium and who knows, maybe once that video's up, this might become the new stadium that we use for a while until we get maybe the Pro Series set. But with all that said, yeah, let's get right into opening, getting to the Helios unboxing. Alright, here we got everything laid out, obviously with all the new Speedstorm stuff, you got your Ripcord and your Surge Speedstorm Launcher, nothing too special about those, kind of went over them more in my Curse to Tomb unboxing, and now let's go to the parts. We'll start with the layer first, you guys can maybe scan that, I don't know how you guys can see it. Again, I, I'll probably put up another video for this after this video goes up. But this is the layer itself. There is no chassis, but we do have a chassis-like disc, and I'll get more into that later. As you can see, there is also no sparking chip core, and you can remove it. Just be careful, because I've seen some people who you kind of got to pull these two prongs out and then push up. On the chip if you try to just push it out with force you can break off the little tabs here that hold the chip in place so a little public service announcement announcement for that next let's move into the disc chassis and this is the 1b disc chassis kind of interesting that Hasbro is doing disc chassis I don't hate it if they could do actual chassis by all means let them do it but I'd say this is pretty close to accurate. It does have a gimmick if you try to line it up with the layer. You can set it up so that it's either in 5-blade mode, where these little blue pieces here will line up with the blades, or in 10-blade mode, where the blue blades on the disc chassis will not line up with the blades and it'll be more even. So that's kind of interesting. And then we have the Zone Speedstorm Driver. So like a bunch of the Speedstorm bays, some of these drivers are going to have metal incorporated into them. And honestly, this is probably my favorite part of the whole Speedstorm line. The drivers being able to have metal means that these are probably the heaviest drivers ever made. And TT, as of now, hasn't done anything like this. They've done the tall part, which Hasbro obviously implemented these drivers are a little bit taller than your normal ones but overall the metal does make you get a bit of the weight that is removed from the layer so that's always appreciated the tip is a little bit different from the original zone driver i don't have the original but i do know that when it came to the original zone driver this tip did have a point on it as you can see it is more of a semi-flat which, in my opinion, I think will do a bit better, because Zone, unless you had that add-on piece from the new stadium set, Zone kind of just went straight to the center all the time, so this will make it a bit more aggressive and actually behave a lot more like a balance type. Putting the bait together, slopes aren't too bad. They're 
decent. And yeah, that pretty much does it for all of that, and let's get into a test launch. Alright, here we go, test spin time in 10 blade mode. So overall, pretty aggressive, but also pretty good with stamina, it kinda is behaving how Unite is behaving. Stamina's kinda depleting a little fast, but, I mean, okay. Also moved a little bit after launch, huh? Well, let's go ahead and put it up against the other Speedstorm Bay we unboxed, Curse Satoon. Pretty aggressive. The tomb just is kind of sitting in the center. I think that universe driver is going to come in pretty handy. I think Helios won that. We're going to do one more. But I think Helios took that win. Leo's kind of getting shut down by Satoon there. Leo's kind of losing spin pretty fast too. Don't know why that is. I don't think all of them would do that. And I think Satoon took that. I, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure these guys are just going to probably keep tying or get darn near close, so I th think it's pretty safe to say that we can stop it there. So that is going to do it for this unboxing of Colossal Helios. Overall, the test battles weren't too bad. It, I think against the tomb, it's always going to tie. Against other bays, you might do better, you might do worse. It all kind of depends. Customizing is definitely going to be key when it comes to bays like these. But that's pretty much going to do it. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, comment below who you guys thought won that first battle, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, because we are sitting at 485 subscribers as of right now, and it would make my year if you guys would help me get to 500 before January 1st. But that's going to do it for me. And until next time, I'm 360 Beyblade, and I'll see you guys in my next video.